Welcome to the public meeting for the State Road 25 US 27 resurfacing design project for proposed transportation improvements from south of Arlington Ridge Boulevard to north of County Road 33 in Lake County, Florida. The purpose of this public meeting is to present the proposed design to the public and to give residents and interested persons an opportunity to review the project displays and other information and discuss the project with the project team, ask questions and provide comments. Public participation is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. This public meeting was advertised consistent with all federal and state requirements. Letters were sent to 19 elected officials, 9 appointed officials, 7 agency representatives, 9 interested persons, and 91 property owners or stakeholders. A newspaper ad was published in the Daily Commercial newspaper on Sunday, June 30, 2019. An ad was also published in the Florida Administrative Register on July 3, 2019. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 office or the Tallahassee office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. This design improvement project is proposed for State Road 25 US 27 from south of Arlington Ridge Boulevard to north of County Road 33 in portions of the city of Leesburg and unincorporated regions of Lake County, a distance of just less than two miles. State Road 25 is classified as an urban principal arterial, currently comprised of four 12-foot travel lanes five-foot paved outside shoulders, and two-foot paved inside shoulders. There is a 40-foot grass median between the travel lanes. The posted speed limit is 60 miles per hour. The intent of this project is to mill and resurface the existing pavement to extend the life of the roadway. Resurfacing improvements include travel lanes, shoulders, turn lanes, and median crossovers. Along with milling and resurfacing the roadway, the project also includes extending turn lanes at the following locations, northbound and southbound left turn lanes, and a southbound right turn lane at the County Road 48 intersection, southbound left turn lane at the Dollar Tree across from Pelican Isle Drive, northbound left turn lane at Commander Road, and a southbound right turn lane at the St. Mark Lutheran Church. A new southbound directional median opening with a left turn lane will be constructed at the First National Bank driveway, just south of Pelican Isle Drive. Various safety and maintenance improvements are included to comply with current Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, and FDOT standards regarding pedestrian features, including adding crosswalks at County Road 48. Pedestrian crosswalks and pedestrian landings will be constructed at the signalized intersection of State Road 25 and County Road 48 at all four approaches. A pedestrian signal will be provided at each corner and detectable warning surfaces will be installed on each landing. Intersection improvements at County Road 33 include eliminating the continuous green lane along northbound State Road 25 and providing dual left turn lanes from County Road 33 to northbound State Road 25 
to improve safety at the intersection. The existing drainage systems appear to be functioning properly. Pavement slopes will be modified to improve roadway drainage. Several driveways will be widened to eliminate ponding and improve drainage runoff. Existing side drains will be reconstructed where needed to accommodate pavement widening. Median ditches will be modified and drainage inlets will be added at turn lane extensions. There are 13 existing utilities along the project corridor. Utility companies have been contacted and the FDOT is coordinating with each company to minimize impacts and avoid construction delays. The project team will coordinate with Lake County and City of Leesburg emergency responders throughout project design and construction to ensure response times will not be limited. This project has a 28 month design schedule. We are currently completing the phase two or 60% plans and will be moving into the phase three plans after this public meeting. The plans will be completed and submitted to the Florida Department of Transportation by spring 2020 and the project will be let for construction bids in early summer 2020. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. Type the project number 4391391-1 in the search box at the top of the page. Then click on Go. When the new page opens, click on the project file name. We encourage you to share your comments with us. There are many different ways you can submit your comments. Share your comments with a member of the project team. Fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table. Take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. Email your comments to the FDOT project manager, Sarah Van Gundy at sarah.vangundy at dot.state.fl.us. Use the Ask a Question button on the CFL Roads website under the Project Manager's contact information. All comments received by July 22, 2019 will become part of the official public record for this meeting. If you have questions or would like more information, you may contact FDOT Project Manager Sarah Van Gundy. Thank you for your interest in this project and for taking time to attend this public meeting. Have a good evening and please drive safely. This presentation will begin again in approximately one minute.